Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Good evening. We're here at the Anderson County Middle School with the 8th grade girls basketball team as they take on the Lincoln County 8th grade girls Eagles. Starters for Anderson County, Kenley Lucas, J.C. Chesser, Paige Serafini, Peyton Baum, and Gracie Gooden. Serafini brings the ball down the floor. Chester goes up for the shot and misses Lincoln rebounds. The starters for Lincoln County are number 32, Allie Lynn, number 11, Pageant, number 21, Petrie, number 3, Abby Lane. Number 12, Taylor. Gooden is fouled on the shot. She'll take two. Good and misses the first. And misses the second, but Baum gets the rebound for Anderson County. Serafini for the three, and she hits it. Anderson County Middle School takes the early lead over the Lincoln Eagles at three to nothing with 432 left in the first quarter. Anderson County and Lincoln County have a long-standing uh, rivalry in girls basketball. Number 12, Taylor for Lincoln County hits a three for Lincoln. Tying the score at 3-3. Kenley Lucas gets called for the carry for Anderson County. A long-standing rivalry with uh, Lincoln County and this team goes back several years as the girls played against each other, even as fourth graders. Anderson County until this year had never beat Lincoln County. Lincoln County has been the conference tournament champ as sixth graders and seventh graders. Anderson County has been a runner-up to Lincoln County in those two conference tournaments. Anderson County, Serafini with the ball, the in inbounds to Chester. Serafini for another three, and she hits that one, making it six to three, Anderson County Lady Mustangs. Lincoln County brings the ball down the floor. And there's a charge for number 12, correction, number 32, Allie Lynn of Lincoln County. There's another foul on Lincoln County for the reach in. Lincoln County has racked up four quick fouls. Still have 310 left in the first quarter. Serafini for her third three in a row. 
Make it Anderson County leading nine to three. Looks like she's gonna be a little hot tonight. Anderson County for the shot, misses. Anderson County was fouled on the play on the rebound. Anderson will bring the ball down the floor against the Lincoln County Press. Anderson easily beats the press. Chester for two. She scores and brings the score 11 to three. Anderson County Lady Mustangs lead the Lincoln County Lady Eagles. 237 left in the first quarter. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. And we're back with the Anderson County Lady Mustangs eighth grade game against the Lincoln County Lady Eagles. Anderson County leads at 11 to three with 225 left in the first quarter. Paige Serafini, number 14, the point guard, has been hot so far tonight. She's hit three three-pointers in a row. The other two points have come from a bucket from uh, number 50, J.C. Chesser. A reach in on Anderson County's Kenley Lucas, number 34. That's the first foul committed by Anderson County. Lincoln County inbounds the ball. Anderson County knocks it out of bounds. On the sideline watching the game tonight is Anderson County Lady Bearcat head coach Clay Birdwhistle and one of his assistant coaches, Nick Cannon. Some second foul on Anderson County. I believe it's also being given to number 34, Kenley Lucas. That'll be two fouls on her. She'll have a seat. Sixth grader, number three, Jenna Satterley, will come in to replace her. Lincoln County scores, bringing the score 11 to 5, Lady Mustangs. Anderson County again meets, beats Lincoln County's press easily down the floor. Push off on uh, number 50 of Anderson County, J.C. Chester. Number 34 for the shot for Lincoln County. She manages to overshoot the rim. Anderson County loses the ball, regains control. Jenna Satterley is taking over the point guard spot. Paige Serafini will be moving to the shooting guard role. Ball was knocked out of the, out of bounds. It goes back to Anderson County. Serafini again for three. Apparently she steps out of bounds. Ball has been turned over to Lincoln County. Lincoln County tries to force the ball in to the paint. Doesn't have any luck, turns the ball over. Foul on Lincoln County, that'll be their sixth foul of the half. 
Anderson County will be in the bonus for the rest of the half. 41.2 seconds left in the first quarter. Serafini again for three, and she hits her fourth three of the night. She has 12 of Anderson County's 14 points. The other two points uh, are from J.C. Chesser. The score is currently 14 to five as the Lady Mustangs lead the Lady Eagles. The scramble for the ball. And it's called a jump ball. Lincoln County will inbound the ball under the basket. I'm not sure they realize how much time is left in the game. Peyton Baum steals the ball for Anderson County. Serafini shoots again, and she hits her fifth three of the night. All five in the first quarter. Brings the lead for Anderson County, 17 to five. The Lady Mustangs lead the Lincoln County Lady Eagles. Emily. Jason? Before you got on that plane, I had to tell you. Hey, Jason. Good, you need to hear this too. You got the house. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. All right, here's it for you. Century 21 agents. Smarter, bolder, faster. Ranked highest overall satisfaction for first time in repeat home buyers and sellers two years in a row by J.D. Power. And we're back in the second quarter with 5.55 left in the second quarter. Anderson County Lady Mustangs lead the Lincoln County Lady Eagles. Number 50, J.C. Chester from Anderson County goes up for the shot. She's fouled. She'll get two shots. Anderson County was already in the bonus. Lincoln County has uh, committed their seventh foul. She hits the first one. And she gets the second one and makes it 19 to five, Anderson County Middle School. Lincoln County brings the ball down the floor. And she shoots and misses, but she's fouled on the play, so she'll take two shots. It's number 32, Allie Lynn. The coaching staff for the Anderson County Lady Mustangs tonight, head coach Stacy Briscoe, and assistant coach Jeff Hawkins, and assistant coach Stacia Serafini. Sixth grade Lady Mustangs coach Amy Satterley is Keep in the book. Anderson County was fouled on the rebound on a foul shot, so they will move to the opposite end of the floor. So, number 30, Gracie Gooden, will get the chance to shoot a one and one. And she hits the first one, bringing the score 20 to six. Anderson County Lady Mustangs. <laughs> <laughs> she
She gets the second one, bringing the score 21 to 6. So far tonight, Anderson County's 21 points. Paige Serafini has hit five three pointers in the first quarter of the game. JC Chesser has four points, and Gracie Gooden has two. Lincoln County sets up their play. Number 32, Allie Lynn shoots a three, and she's way off the mark. Anderson County for the rebound. She inbounds it. Correction throws it to J.C. Chester under the basket. They're unable to make good on the play, so Lincoln County's Allie Lynn shoots another three and misses, but Lincoln gets the rebound. Number 11, Pageant shoots and misses. And the ball goes out of bounds to Anderson County. Serafini bringing the ball down the floor. Jenna Satterley is fouled by Lincoln County's number 32, Allie Lynn. She'll go to the line for one and one. She misses the front end of a one and one. Lincoln County with the rebound. Allie Lynn goes in for the basket. She misses it, hits it off the back of the rim. Gracie Gooden comes down with the rebound, and Serafini will bring the ball down the court. Back in the paint to J.C. Chester. She goes up for the shot. She's fouled. She'll take two for Anderson County. There's 341 left in the second quarter. The score is 21 to 6. The Lady Mustangs lead the Lincoln County Lady Eagles. Chester misses the first one. Lincoln County has now committed 10 fouls, so we'll be in the double bonus for the rest of the half. Lincoln County's number 32 will have a seat. Number 21, Petrie, will replace her. And Chester manages to hit the second one, bringing the score 22 to 6. Lincoln County throws the ball away. It'll be Anderson County ball. Anderson County sets it up for a play. Gooden and Chester both collapse under the basket and come back out to the top of the key. Chester will bring it back out front and they'll set up for another play. Chester dribbles in, thinks better of a shot. Serafini shoots a three. She misses her first three pointer of the night. Chester shoots and misses. Lincoln County on the rebound. They bring it down the court. Lincoln County shoots and hits it off the side of the, side of the basket. Anderson County brings it down the court. Peyton Mom shoots. Somebody got a hand on it and deflected it. Lincoln County shoots and misses again. Anderson County brings the ball back down the floor. 
Serafini shoots again and misses another three-pointer, but she's already hit five in a row tonight in the first quarter. Lincoln County shoots way off the mark. Number 54, Peyton Ball on the rebound for Anderson County. She'll give it back to point guard Paige Serafini. Anderson County sets it up for the play. Chester comes out front. Serafini cuts to the basket, comes back out. Hands it off to Jenna Satterley who shoots it for a three, and she hits it for her first three-pointer of the night. Satterley is only a sixth grader. She is the daughter of the sixth grade coach, Amy Satterley. Satterley's mother, Amy Satterley, and her aunt, uh, Nicole Hawthorne, uh, comes from a long line of basketball genes. They both played in high school. Jenner Satterley's Grandfather, Jimmy Dale Hawthorne, has been a basketball coach in Anderson County for many, many years. Serafini again for another three. That's her sixth three of the night. Lincoln County is going to have to find an answer for all these three-pointers that Anderson County's hitting. They turn it over. Anderson County brings the ball back down the court. Fifteen seconds left in the first half. Lincoln County has been nowhere near the match for Anderson County tonight that they have been in the past. And Serafini for the assist to Peyton Baum, who went in for the basket and missed. She was fouled on the play, so she'll get to shoot two shots here with 1.1 second left in the first half. It don't matter, just as long as I get it, the Anderson County Lady Mustangs currently lead the Lincoln County Lady Eagles 28 to 6. Baum misses her first one. She goes for her second shot and hits it. So now Peyton Baum has one, bringing the score 29 to 6. Anderson County Lady Mustangs over the Lincoln County Lady Eagles at the end of the first half. Anderson County's scoring stats is Paige Serafini has 18 points. 15 of those were five straight three-pointers in the first quarter. J.C. Chesser has five. Gracie Gooden has two points. And Jenna Satterley has three points. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. And we're back at the 8th grade Anderson County Lady Mustangs basketball game as they take on the 8th grade Lincoln County Lady Eagles. Lincoln County's number 12, Taylor, just hit a three-pointer for Lincoln County. Anderson County, however, leads it 29 to 9 after Paige Serafini hit six three-pointers in the first half. Five of those were in the first quarter of the game. Chester goes in for two and scores. Number 32 for Lincoln County, Allie Lynn shoots a three-pointer and she's off the mark. Anderson County comes up with the rebound. Lincoln County so far has not had a re response to Anderson County's hot three-point hitting night with Serafini with six and Jenna Satterley with one.
Serafini fumbles the ball, but Lincoln County manages to save it. There's a foul on number 34, Kinley Lucas of Anderson County. That'll be her third foul of the game. She had two quick fouls in the first half of the game and set the bench uh, about half of the first half. Lincoln County shoots and misses. Gracie Gibbon comes down with the rebound. And Chester makes a nice pass to Gracie Gooden. She scores a bucket for two. Lincoln County's Allie Lynn shoots another three, but Lucas gets a hand on it with a partial block. Anderson County comes up with a loose ball. Lincoln County's Lynn has shot several three-pointers tonight. She's just not having any luck connecting on any. Chester goes in for the play. Lincoln County fouls her. She'll get two shots at the line. <coughs> and she hits her first one. She misses the second free throw. Anderson County knocks the ball back in bounds. The Lincoln County comes up with it. They go up for a shot, and Anderson County commits a foul. That'll be charged to number 54, Peyton Baum. Lincoln County will shoot two. Anderson County's Baum, Chester, and Lucas all play on the Anderson County Lady Mustangs softball team here in the spring season. And then once that's over, they go right back into basketball. Lincoln County misses the free throws. Anderson County comes around with the rebound and they set it up for a play. Gooden into Chester. Chester walks with the ball. It'll be Lincoln County ball. Anderson County's not had many turnovers tonight. Lincoln County has not been a match for Anderson County's hot shooting. Bomb trips. Bomb, Peyton Bomb, number 54 from Anderson County is tripped by Lincoln County. And it'll be Anderson County's ball. We'll go across the timeline. Lucas set up for a shot and thought better of it, took a step, and then tried to shoot again. She was calling for the walk. It'll be Lincoln County's ball. Eighth grade coach Stacy Briscoe is telling the Lady Mustangs to slow down. There's no reason to be in a hurry. They have a 24 point lead with 2.32 left in the third quarter. It'll be a jump ball. The ball will be awarded to Anderson County. <laughs> now Anderson County, with the exception of Gracie Gooden, these Anderson County eighth grade girls have played together since they were fourth graders. Lincoln County's number three is called for a push off foul. Number 54, Peyton Baum. Lincoln County's Parents are not happy about it. 
Apparently there's some pushing going on between the both of them. Anderson County sets the play up. Serafina sets for a shot, changes her mind at the last minute. Briscoe calls for a timeout. It's 34-10 left in the third quarter. Correction, 34-10 is the score in the third quarter with 1.42 left on the clock. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. The back of the Anderson County Middle School 8th grade girls basketball between the Lady Mustangs with a lead of 34 to 10 over the Lincoln County Lady Eagles. Lincoln County has been no match for Anderson County Lady Mustangs tonight with Anderson County's hot three-point shooting. In the years past, Lincoln County has always defeated this team as sixth graders and seventh graders, winning the conference tournament both years with Anderson County being in the tournament runner-ups. That looks like that's going to be a different situation this year. Lincoln County's number 32 takes a shot and misses. Anderson County gets a rebound. Anderson County has always been a contender in the conference tournament, conference standings. It looks like this year they have a good chance of winning it all. Chester gets a rebound on a missed shot of Gracie Goodman, puts it up for two, she scores, making the score 36 to 10 with 31 seconds left in the third quarter. Number 25, Tracy from Lincoln County, hits a two. with a play to the end of the third quarter. Anderson County leading 36-12 over the Lincoln County Lady Eagles. Emily. Jason? Before you got on that plane, I had to tell you. Hey, Jason. Good. You need to hear this, too. You got the house. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. <laughs> All right. Is it for you? Century 21 agents. Smarter, bolder, faster. Ranked highest overall satisfaction for first time in repeat home buyers and sellers two years in a row by JD Power. For the beginning of the fourth quarter, the Anderson County Lady Mustangs lead the Lincoln County Lady Eagles 36 to 12. Lincoln County has been no match for the Lady Mustangs this evening. Lincoln County gets a shot off. Number 31. It's a two-pointer, makes the score 36 to 14. Number 31 forces a turnover in Anderson County. Baum tries to save it. She and a Lincoln player end up in a jump ball situation, but the ball is awarded to Anderson County. <coughs> Anderson 
She inbounds it to Chesser. He drives to the basket, finds Lucas open for a two. She shoots and misses. Chester goes up for another two. She's fouled by an open player. Chester will get two shots. Chester currently has nine points in the game. That makes her ten for the night. Correction, that makes her 11 points for the night. And that'll be her 12th point of the night. Lincoln County will bring the ball down the floor. Number 32, Casey West, is, Anderson County is coming again. She attempts to steal and is almost successful. A scramble for a ball. Jump ball is called and Lincoln County being awarded the ball. Number 54 ball on his second arrest on the bench. Uh, number 32 Casey West is called for her first foul. That'll be three fouls on Anderson County in this half. Lincoln County has four. Lincoln County connects on their first shot. And she misses the second one. They can score 38-15 Anderson County. 440 left in the fourth quarter. Called for the walk. <laughs> Lincoln County's driven with the ball out front. They really don't have much time to uh, be wasting if they're going to make any kind of comeback at this point. Again. And there is the ball. Paige Serafini gets the steal. She'll bring the ball back up the court for Anderson County. Anderson County sets up the play. <coughs> Lincoln County manages to figure out the play and gets the steal. Comes back down the court. Number 32, Allie Lynn, has finally hit a three-pointer for tonight, making the score 38 to 18. <laughs> Lincoln County's number 35 is called for the foul. Lincoln County is putting in some substitutions. It must be some of the younger girls. It's not any players that we've seen in the game yet tonight. Coach wants to give them some playing time. Anderson County has also made a substitution. It's Gracie Gooden for the basket. Aubrey Willis is now in the game for Anderson County. Number 25, Tracy. There's no bucket for Lincoln County. Gooden is right under the basket, wide open. He fails to hit the bucket. Lincoln County knocks the ball out of bounds. Lincoln County had no idea that she was down there by herself.
Anderson County throws it away on the inbounds pass. Anderson County is ahead 40 to 20 with 2.36 left in the first correction in the fourth quarter, but they still have four starters in the game. Lincoln County is looking for an open shot. Number three goes into the paint, comes back out with it. 31 throws it up. She's running in near the basket. Sarah Feeney will bring the ball back down the court. Tracy Gooden has called for the push off on the offensive foul. <coughs> Number 32, Casey West, is coming back in the game for Anderson County. Sarah Feeney will have a seat. She has 18 points for the evening, all off of six three pointers that she hit in the first half. Lincoln County puts up a shot and misses, follows her, her own shot, gets her own rebound. She's fouled. She'll get two shots at the line. Anderson County leads 40 to 20. A minute and 41 left in the fourth quarter, but still have three starters in the game. Lincoln County misses the first of two shots. And the second shot goes in and out. Mom brings the ball down the floor. Lucas will take the point guard spot. West and Baum are on the wings. Aubrey Willis and Gracie Gooden are playing the post. They get it in the good and down into the basket that she scores to and she can. Lincoln County puts up the shot and misses it. But it goes out on the Anderson County player. Starter Gracie Gooden is having a seat. She finishes the night with eight points. Seventh grader, number 40, J.C. Lucas, comes in to replace her. Kenley Lucas will have a seat. Sixth grader, number three, Jenna Satterley, will replace her. Number 12, seventh grader, Jenna Beasley, has also come in to play in a guard spot. So everybody on the floor now for Anderson County is a substitute. Lincoln County hits one off the top of the backboard. The ball will be awarded to Anderson County. Anderson County almost overturns the ball, but manages to recover it. Saturday, Beasley and West have the ball out front, but Beasley is called for a walk. Lincoln County connects on a bucket. It's now 42-22, Anderson County with 10 seconds left in the game. Saturday will hold on the ball to run out the clock. Final score is 42-22. The Anderson County Lady Mustangs defeating the Lincoln County Lady Eagles. The scoring stats for the night are Paige Serafini with 18, J.C. Chesser with 12, Gracie Gooden with 8, and Jenna Satterley with 3.
Thank you, and this has been brought to you by the Anderson County Sports TV.